That we have had has a lot of problems down from their homeland, down from other countries where they have gone. We are resisting and done in no ways, and we are telling Kenyans of all good ways. The leaders in the political class, the legal fraternity, the Kenyan people to come out and team up together with us. As we say no to Andani. As we say no, no to, Andani. to Andani. Yes. This is the clear message. As the workers of the airport. Across the country. Across the country. We will resist Andani. With whatever it takes. The government should stop this. And they should announce to Kenyans. That Andani should not take our airport. What is this Adani bringing to Kenya? Why is this, this that this government is keeping a secret? As a union, we requested for some documents, we were given a few documents, and our CS Labour promised last week to give us some documents, but we are not given to our Secretary General. Why are we being taken in circles? This is the time the Kenyans have to work up and we secure our heritage. If Adani wants to come, Tumpatia Kwanza City, ama tumutafutia mahali hapa Mariakani, achenge ya poti yake hapo, to operate it from there, employ people there, he does his own things there. But he should leave us to our cheke hai. I'll give you an example. Our airline, at cheke hai, it is the hub. If that hub is going to be taken by Adani, then our airline sustainability will be at the plink. After all this time, after independence, it's over 60 years. Why should they sell our heritage at this moment? Someone has a fishy motive to come and finish our country. When you sell something to a foreigner, a foreigner yet there are investors in, in our country, who can help in such modernization? It tells you there is something fishy. It's unfortunate that the staff are here. They have worked overnight. Some of them are crying. They are going to lose their jobs. Of course, you can't assure us that an investor who is not accepted in another country will come with a goodwill.